Um, today's assembly instructions are going to be over the QL1000. Um, this is a continuous um, halogen light that we have. Um, so I'm going to show you how to put a reflector on this, put it on a stand, use a softbox or an umbrella, um, and we'll start with the bulb. So what you're going to do is you're going to notice this little cover. Um, there's a, a little lever right here, a little shiny lever. So when you pull that down, it opens up the ability to turn anything in here, whether it's the reflector or this cap. So you're just going to turn it until these uh, things will slide out. Um, and then now you're ready for the bulb. So what you're going to do is take your 1000 watt halogen bulb um, and then make sure you don't touch the bulb. That's very important with these because actually something can happen with the oils of your fingers and if the light's on too long, um, the bulbs can actually break. So never touch the glass. Um, but with this one, it has a big base, so it's actually easy just to slide in just like that without touching the glass. So now that you have that, I'll show you how to put the reflector on. One thing that you're going to notice is this little slit. This is for the umbrella. So what you're going to do is hold the light and hold the reflector, and then you're going to take the bottom peg and slide it into that and turn it. So now you can see that the slit's on the bottom so that you can slide the umbrella through there. Um, and then this is gonna hold it in place so that you can't turn it. Um, obviously we're gonna throw this on a stand. So this big wheel loosens this up. You can turn it down. And then this loosens that up. And then you can tighten it onto a stand. And then you can use the wheel to loosen it if you need to, you know, angle this any certain way. Um, so now I'll show you how to put the umbrella on here. And then I'll also show you how to put the softbox together as an alternative and then how to put it on the light. So just one sec. Now that we have the umbrella, um, it opens like any umbrella would. And then what you're going to do is you're going to slide this through the opening, um, just like this. I don't know if you can see that. But then once you get it through to the inside of the light, I'll show you from the back so you can really see what's going on. You're going to notice that there's this little square section. Okay, So you're going to take the rod and actually go through the front portion of that. And then it'll click past this uh, little metal uh, hinge, or I don't know what to call it. And then it'll keep going. And then the, the um, friction or the pressure of that actually holds the umbrella in place. Um, and then now you can adjust it up or down, and it'll reflect the light back onto the subject. Um, so from here, I'm going to show you how to put the softbox together, and then we'll put it on the QL1000. Now for the softbox. Um, what you'll see in the bag is the speed ring, four rods, uh, the diffusers, inner and outer, and then the actual softbox. Now the first step. Um, like most softbox uh, assemblies, what you're going to do is you're going to put the speed ring in the center of the softbox. Um, and it can be kind of, you know, sloppy at first because what's going to hold it in place is the rods. So what you're going to do is take two rods and then find the thicker edge. Um, and on this one, actually, they're just wider. You can kind of tell when you feel them. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to find two holes that are opposite of each other regardless of numbers um, so we're going to find that one and then slide that into the corner just like that so then you're going to take the opposite end and do the same thing put it in the corner just like that now you're going to reach out and kind of pull this apart hold this side down do it with the third corner. Pull this out just like that. And then again with the fourth. And now you can see the shape that it's taking. Just like that. There's the soft box, the basic assembly instructions. And then what I'll do is Velcro these just to kind of tighten it up. 
Um, and then before I put the diffuser panels on, I'm going to show you how to put it on the light because it's a little bit easier to shoot from the inside. One thing to do before you put it on is um, right here you'll see this. You can actually tighten that because when this is loose, the speed ring actually spins so that you can rotate this on the light. What we'll do is we'll tighten that. Um, and then throw it in and then actually spin it. What you'll do is you'll get it in and rotate it and you'll hear a click. So what I did is I put it in, I rotated it to your left and then I heard a click. So now since this is kind of cockeyed, we can just loosen this and square it up and tighten it. Um, you'll notice I've taken the bulb out just because when your hands are in here, sometimes it's easy to touch the bulb. So just pull it out, put the softbox on, and then you can put the bulb in. The inner diffuser panel um, simply clips onto these white things, these elastic bands. And the outer diffuser panel has Velcro on the inside lining. And then what you'll do is you'll just wrap that around the corners of the softbox. And press down. And then now you have a diffuser panel that'll kind of diffuse the light, soften it up for you. Um, make sure the bulb's in, turn it on, and then you'll have your continuous halogen QL1000.